Coach, congratulations on your win tonight. Without Damian Lillard, what were the keys to success for you guys to come out with the win? Well, um, obviously, the way we came back in the second half, we got down 16. Um, it wasn't looking good. I thought our bench, Mello, uh, Ennis, and uh, Anthony Simons all did a terrific job coming off the bench. They got us back in the game uh, in the third quarter with their a little bit of everything with their shot making, with their defense and rebounds. Uh, we just started playing a lot better in the third quarter. In the third quarter, there was a scuffle between uh, DeMar DeRozan and Cantor. Kind of got the crowd a little bit riled up. Do you know what happened on the court between them? No, I didn't. I really didn't see what what started it. Uh, you know, those things those things happen. Um, things can get chippy, so uh, not too much to read into it. Next question is coming from Joe Becker with K two. Uh, Terry, congrats on the win. Um, I know you've been at this a long time, but what's it like for you emotionally uh, at the end of the game like that when it's back and forth and it goes all the way down to the end? What's it like? Uh, honestly, you're just thinking about the next play. You know, whether you have the ball or whether they have the ball, you're just thinking of the next play. What what can we do to get a stop? Whether we should change the coverage or matchups offensively, what play should we run? Uh, what player should we go to? What What can we take advantage of? Uh, from their defense. So it's really just kind of staying in the moment and each each possession matters. And when the game's over and you win? Uh, usually it's relief. <laughs> I wish I could say I'm ecstatic, but it's usually relief. I get it. Thanks, Terry. Yes. Next question is coming from Aaron Finches with the Oregonian. Coach Simons has had pretty in um, in consistent minutes lately. What does it say about him to be able to come into this game with game out and deliver so many big shots like that when he hasn't been asked to really play in high leverage minutes the last month, maybe? Well, uh, this is his third year and he has seen how things change. Uh, you know, I told him when, uh, when he got out of the rotation, stay ready. You've seen things, uh, you gotta be ready. And, and he was, but you know, that's part of his job. It's, it's not easy, but, you have to be ready for these times. And uh, I think it's probably a little bit easier knowing that when Dame is out, he knows that he's going to have to, he's going to play uh, as opposed to getting a call out of the blue. But nonetheless, I was really proud of him the way, the way he stepped up, uh, took the challenge. I think a lot of it, you know, watching it's obviously he's a good shooter and you want to make shots, but I thought, he competed defensively. He got some nice rebounds. You know, he did a little bit of everything. And I was, uh, I was glad he was ready. Thanks. Next question is coming from AJ McCord with Point. Terry, I know that without Dame, there's obviously a lot of holes to fill. Who impressed you the most tonight that stepped up to make this one happen? Uh, honestly, you win a game like this and you're down 16. Uh, there's a lot of people that contribute to that. I thought Norman Powell was great in the fourth quarter. I thought defensively he was very good with uh, guarding DeRozan. Uh, and we just talked about Ant and Mello and Annis off the bench got us back into the game. Uh, Rocco made a steal at the end. You know, you just obviously CJ did what CJ does. So I, there's a lot of people when you have a win like this on the road and you come from 16 down, uh, I think you have to have a lot of contributions from different people. Dwight James, NBC Sports Northwest. Yeah, they got into the paint on you pretty good tonight. What what goes into that, and what can you do to kind of keep that from happening in the future? Well, uh, you know they're going to score in some ways, um, but Eubanks and Pirtle they did a nice job of finishing around the paint. Pirtle made some floaters. Um, you know they're a perimeter team. Uh, we extended our defense uh, on DeRozan and Mills. Uh, sometimes it was that, sometimes it was offensive rebounds. Uh, sometimes it's them just making good shots. But ultimately I look at the final score and the final score was, um, was we won. You said they're a perimeter team? Yes. They don't take many threes. Uh, well, I, perimeter doesn't mean three point shot, but I would okay. say Murray and White and Mills and DeRozan and uh, Lonnie Walker and uh, probably a few other ones. Yeah, I think they're Rudy Gay is a perimeter shooter. So yeah, they have a lot of perimeter players. Obviously Eubanks and Pirtle got theirs off of 
uh, our attention to their pick and roll players. Uh, they got offensive rebounds and rolls to the basket, but it's not like they were posting them up and going going to the basket. But yeah, they were. They those two guys I think were 15 for 17, which is 30 points right there. And last question is coming from Chris Osafis with Sport DNA. Hello, coach. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. How important? How needed was that win for you, mentally wise? And how important is to build on the effort of the last five minutes of the fourth quarter overall? Uh, I think it was an important win. Uh, you know, San Antonio's kind of hovering around in the you know seven, eight, nine spot. Uh, it was to get this on the road. Uh, you know, it seems like we always have some good battles against San Antonio. Uh, to get a win without Dame uh, was very important. The way we came back. Down 16 was important. Uh, to find a way to finish a game was important. So I think there were a lot of positives to take from this game.